Well, if you're heading down to Black Gold later today, we're going to have some sunshine for part of the day, but it sounds like some rain is on the way. Yes, we saw a little bit of rain last night, and there's more on the way later on today. Satellite and radar is looping, showing the rain that moved through overnight last night. And then we dried things out this morning, and we will stay dry for much of the day today, but later on this evening, we'll see those rain chances ramp back up once again. Temperature-wise, we're off to a very mild start this morning, with temperatures ranging from the mid-60s down to the south, in Wise as well as Middlesbrough, all the way into the mid 70s, Prestonsburg and Paintsville sitting at 74 degrees this morning. So as you're headed out the door, we are off to a nice mild start, but some locations are dealing with just a little bit of patchy fog as we head into the afternoon hours, still keeping it mostly dry, but we will start to see those rain chances increase. Temperatures topping out in the mid 80s later on today under partly cloudy skies, but again, keeping those rain chances in mind, especially if you have plans later today. This morning should be great weather for the parade if you're headed down to the Black Gold Festival. Temperatures sitting in the mid 70s by the time that parade will start. Partly cloudy once again. Should be a nice warm day with those temperatures topping out in the mid 80s, but once again, can't drive this home enough. Later on this evening, we are going to see those rain chances return to the forecast. Maybe you're not headed out to the Black Gold Festival, but you are headed to Lexington for UK's home game today. Great weather for tailgating before the game with those temperatures in the lower 80s. Should be climbing into the mid 80s right around game time, but that is when we're going to see the rain begin to creep in from the west. And by the time you're headed home this evening, those temperatures will be falling into the 70s and we'll see those rain chances begin to increase. Let's go ahead and break that down for you hour by hour. Mostly dry this morning and we will stay that way for much of the day today. But as we head into the evening hours, and that's where we're going to see just an isolated shower or two begin to develop from the west. As we head into the evening hours, we'll see that rain increase, and especially by about midnight, it'll really kick into gear. And by Sunday morning, we'll see scattered showers and storms across eastern Kentucky. Those will be with us for much of the day on Sunday, but as this cold front works its way across the mountains through the day on Sunday. We'll start to see that rain move out with it. It'll taper off through the afternoon hours by Sunday evening. We will be mostly dry once again, and then the rest of the week looks absolutely fantastic. Clearing skies on Monday. I should mention those temperatures on Sunday, thanks to that cold front and all that rain, will be quite a bit cooler. We'll struggle to break the 80 degree mark, and then those skies begin to clear on Monday, and then plenty of sunshine for the rest of your work week, although we will warm things back up once again with those temperatures in the mid 80s for the whole rest of the week. But all that sunshine. I'm thankful for the rain, but don't worry. If you don't like the rain, there's plenty more sunshine still left in this forecast. I'm with you, Arden. I'm thankful for a little bit of rain. My allergies are just crazy. I know. This year. We, we really need it. It's been a very dry September so far. I agree. Well, thank you, Arden.